Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at not really as much a tool today, but more of a workflow or a strategy in how to deal with duplicate points. Now I created a video previously that would help us identify these points by leveraging a tool that is under reports here, uh, point and then point proximity report. So uh, using this tool we could identify duplicates today our installment is more on, instead of just identifying them in a report, some different ways that we can maybe remove them or address the points in our model. So first, I've got a small data set here, just 17 points. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and create some duplicates. So to do that very quickly here, I'm going to insert the same points in on top of each other. So we'll bring in points, my detail.txt. It is a point number, Northern Easting Elevation Description, Common Limited. We'll click on OK. It, it warns me it's a duplicate point. Uh, use next point number. Maybe if I wasn't paying attention to the dialogues, I'd go ahead and click on OK. And it's added duplicate points to my file. Some of you are probably cringing just watching me do that. Now, we still have the ability in Civil 3D that we could undo to resolve that, but maybe we didn't notice that or somebody else did it in a different area of the office. In any event, we now have duplicate points within our file and we'd like to find a way to take and remove them because we obviously don't need uh, two of the exact same point on top of each other. So if we're looking to uh, identify and resolve an issue like this, what we can do is by leveraging uh, Excel, we can clean this up pretty quickly in a couple of different ways. All right, so let's begin first by outputting the points so that we get a complete list of everything that's in here. So we're going to export our points. Uh, point number, Northern Easting Elevation Description. We'll output them to my Tuesday folder, and I'll just call them uh, Tuesday for right now. Go ahead and output that. I'm not going to limit it to a point group. It'll export all my points. We'll say OK, and those points are out. From there, I'm going to fire up Excel. We'll go ahead and open that file up. So we'll go ahead and look on my computer here on my desktop my Tuesday folder and we'll look for CSV files so we'll come down it's a text file CSV here's the Tuesday file we just created so we'll select that click on open and then we see our our points alright so we had 17 points in the file we've obviously got more than that now because they were duplicated so we're uh, 34 or so is with respect to points all right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the display with respect to uh, decimals in here just so that I can see how many decimals we're, we're working with. And actually, uh, some of them are four decimals. It's just easier for me to see. Uh, what I can do is hold down the control key, click both columns for the northing and the easting, and I can come up here and there's an option that we can immediately increase the number of decimals. So uh, we've increased them both to four decimal places. Uh, or actually to five decimal places. So that'll work out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with my elevations. We'll take and increase those to uh, three decimal places. So uh, once again, it's just visual. It's still going to use the information, the underlying number of decimals that are there, but just visually I can, I can see them all when they're all pretty much the, the same uh, number of decimals. So now that I've cleaned that up a little bit, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some quick column headers to my data. So we'll just go ahead, highlight the first column here, right click, we'll insert, and uh, click on this row here, and we'll just say uh, this is P for points, uh, N for northing, E for easting, we'll say EL for elevation, and we'll say D for description. All right, from there, what we're going to do is click in one of the cells that represents our data, and we can come over on sort and filter, and we can say we would like to filter the data. And now in doing so, we have the ability that we can start doing things. Actually, let's click on one of these. We can, it doesn't crop off on the screen here. We can start doing sorts and stuff like that based on the data. Uh, maybe if it was descriptions, uh, maybe we're not interested in ground shots or something like that, we can remove that so that we've got fewer points to look at, whatever the case may be. Um, but now that the data can be filtered. Now that it can be filtered, what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to click on the data pull down here, or data entry in the uh, ribbon. We're going to come down. There is an option now right here on the side that says remove duplicates. It'll say de delete duplicate rows from a sheet. So we will select that. It automatically highlights all of our data. We tell it which columns should be evaluated. 
We'll take the check mark out for the point number because the point number is what makes them unique. But any rows or records that have the same northing, easting, elevation, and description, those will be uh, determined as, as unique or not, whether there are duplicates. I'm also going to tell it that my data has headers because that's what we created. I'll click on OK. And that quick, it found 17 duplicate values. Those 17 were removed. All right, now as far as the logic behind that, it's finding the first one on the list. If it finds another one that's the same, I don't, well, in this case, particular case, it's obviously deleting the later ones rather than the earlier ones. It's getting rid of duplicates. Uh, so it's keeping the lower numbers in this particular case. Um, there's, I don't want to say that you can, you know, pick or choose each one. This is just an automated way of doing it. All right, so this is a quick way to do it from here. What I could do, I've now got one set of unique records. I could go back into my file, delete all the points, reinsert these points as a common limited file, and now I've only got one set of, of uh, unique points within my model. All right, now that being said, some people might like something a little less destructive. Maybe they don't want to delete all their points and then reinsert this. Are there other options that we have that we could do as well? And there is. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to undo the removal of those duplicates with my points in the same status that they were before. I'm going to uh, highlight all of these points. We'll scroll down here to the bottom. And I'm going to go to the Home tab, and we will color them all yellow. All right, from there, by picking inside one of the cells, we will come over to the Data tab again. We will come down to Advanced for an Advanced Filter. I can filter this information in place, and the list range, I'm going to say from the B column, row 1, through the end, which is E35, I would like to display unique records only. So what this will do is it'll filter the list to only show me unique records, but not delete the duplicates so that I could evaluate or see what, you know, which ones are duplicates, which ones aren't. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. It automatically reduces the list down to the same thing that we saw before. Let's uh, highlight these. Now what I could do is go to Home, maybe color those a different color. We'll color those blue, maybe blue are the duplicates. We will uh, take and clear that filter. And if we clear the filter, I can now easily see that the uh, yellow ones or the, you know, in either case, the, the blue ones could be the unique ones, the yellow ones could be the duplicate. All right, we, uh, that's basically a mirror image of each other. Okay, let's say that rather than deleting all the points in my file and having to reinsert them, I'd only like to maybe just delete the duplicates, you know, a little less destructive than what we looked at before. All right, so what I'm going to do, it appears to have cleared off my filters here, so we're going to go ahead, I'll pick in the cell. We'll go ahead and recreate our filters. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, if I'm going to assume my duplicates are the yellow ones, I'm going to click on my descriptions here, and we're going to say filter them now by color. We'll come down, and I only want to see the yellow records. All right, these are all the duplicate points. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the first point number, drag down to the last one here. We'll right-click and copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to create a new workbook in Excel. And with that created, I'm going to click in the first cell here, right-click, and we will paste those, but we'll invert the order that they're displayed. And then we'll take and save that file as a CSV file back in that same folder we were in before. So we'll go into Tuesday. We will call this Remove. Save as file type. We'll come down to Common Delimited CSV. And we'll call that Remove. We'll say Save. Uh, some features may be lost. Common Delimited, that's okay. We're going to keep that format. It's exported and we're good to go. All right, so we've performed all the analysis we would like to do. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Uh, save my changes to remove. We'll say no. We're not going to worry about saving that. One thing that I would point out here, the main intention of this is to be, it's looking for duplicate records. All right, so I mean, it's going to look all the way out to the ends with, with respect to the number of decimals that are here. If you think about it, if you'd like to maybe leverage this tool more as a proximity tool, uh, you could create another maybe altered northing and easting column over here that maybe limited the number of decimals down to two decimal places or one decimal place. 
and then do your comparisons off that because then in effect that would give you some proximity. You know, maybe if it's a duplicate to two decimal places is close enough as if it was a duplicate to, to three or four or beyond. So you could actually start to, you know, further uh, enhance this workflow to not hit things that, you know, have to be right in the money to four decimal places, but maybe to the, uh, the level of accuracy that you'd like to work with. Okay, so let's drop out of this. Uh, save my changes. I'll save it in case I'd like to come back to it. Um, we'll call it uh, Tuesday filtered. We'll say save and we'll say yes and we're back to here. Okay, so I'm back in my civil 3D file. I've got my duplicate points but I perform my analysis now in Excel. What I'd like to do rather than deleting all the points I'd like to instead just insert or, or I'm sorry instead of inserting new points We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and remove the, uh, the bad ones, the duplicates. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up that uh, removal or that, uh, that file that contains the duplicates. Let's go to my desktop folder Tuesday. Here is my remove CSV. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say open with notepad. Once I open it with notepad, there's all my points separated by commas. So I'm going to highlight that. Control C to copy it to the clipboard. We'll go ahead and close it. And then we'll come down here. If I'd like to get rid of the points, I'm going to hit E for erase. As far as select objects, I'll come over to the side and we'll use the transparent filter here for point number. So enter point number. I will click in the dialog here and then I will hit Control V for paste. Oops. Paste clip. Uh, let's, I'm sorry, I was out on the screen. Let's go ahead and we'll say E for erase. Select objects. We'll say the point filter here. We'll click down in the dialog down here and we'll say control V, which pastes in our points, comma delimited. I'll hit enter. We see it went out and found 17 points. Now from here it's going to want to know do we have any other point numbers we want to enter? And I do not, so I'm going to hit escape to complete that. And then erase. Do I want to erase or select any other objects? I do not, so I will hit enter. And when I hit enter, it has automatically gone through and erased all of the duplicate points. All right, now having said that, uh, there is a limitation to the amount of points that we can do at one time. So if you had a thousand duplicates or something like that, odds are you're not gonna be able to put a thousand point numbers separated by commas. If you'd like to do it, you'd you know probably wanna do it in groups or something like that in sections or multiple erase commands rather than to try and do it all at once. But let's say your intention is, you know what, I really don't want to erase them. Maybe those points were leveraged as part of something else and I'm worried with the dynamic or, or up automatic way that things are updated in Civil 3D, you know, the ramifications of deleting some of those points. I just don't want to see them anymore. I just will just make them go away. Just can you make them invisible? I can do that as well. Let's go ahead and hit uh, undo here. We'll back up a couple of steps to get our duplicate points back. So our duplicates are back. And what we'll do is we'll use a strategy with point groups to basically hide the duplicate points. So we'll come back over to Prospector. I've only got one group in this particular model, all points. I'll right click on point groups and we'll say new. And the new point group that I'm going to create, we'll just call it hidden for right now. And uh, point style display should be none the point label style none as well and then the points that should be included in that point group we'll say with numbers matching click in the dialog here i will then hit Control v for paste it will grab all of those points we will then come down to click on ok it uh, it found all of those and now those points have been suppressed from display so the the least destructive way of doing it and that if, you know in the event that those points were used for something else and deleting them may cause issues somewhere along the way. Uh, we now have the ability that we can kind of throw them into that point group and any future ones that may cause us issues such that they're hidden or suppressed and uh, once again not as destructive as actually deleting them. Okay. So with that we've looked at a couple of strategies and workflows with respect to how to work with uh, duplicate points. First thing, as I mentioned before, uh, I've got a previous video that talks about the point proximity report. That will give you an automatic listing of points that are duplicate or near duplicate. You can do a search for that video. We'll explain that. But in, uh, in this particular video, what we went through today, if we have points that have been inserted either inadvertently or otherwise to create duplicates, those can be exported quickly to Excel. 
Using some of the tools within Excel, we can remove the duplicates, reinsert them back into here, or we can identify the duplicates, add them to a point list, and then come in here, delete them uh, more um, surgically, or we could add them to a point group such that they're uh, just suppressed from display. So hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.